Hamilton, eat your heart out. If there's one entry-level Swiss watch that I recommend to everyone, it is the Hamilton Khaki Field Automatic. It comes in two sizes, 38 and 42 millimeters, so there's one to fit almost every wrist. It isn't too pricey at $550 on the bracelet and $500 on leather using gray market sources. And it's just a solid and handsome everyday Swiss watch with a reliable and accurate Swiss movement. But what if I don't have $500 to spend? What if I only have $150 to spend and I don't mind an homage to the original with a reliable Japanese movement? Well, Baltany has answered that question with the military 24H field watch. And you'll want to stick around because in three very significant ways, this watch is even better than its Swiss inspiration. Now this watch was loaned into the channel by Overby Watches based out of eBay and shipping from the United States. Even though I'm based in Canada, their shipping was quick and communication was top notch. So I'm going to leave a link down in the description if by the end of this video you want to pick one up for yourself. I receive no compensation if you do. Now back to the watch. Unlike the original watch, which came in 38, 42 millimeters, the Baltany military comes in only one size and it hits a sweet spot for most at 39 millimeters dead on. The length is a wearable 46.6 and the thickness is only 12 millimeters. So large or small wrists will find the sizing on this to be spot on. I mean, even on my pizza fed Canadian wrist, this watch wears just great. Underneath that AR coated sapphire crystal, the dial is reminiscent of the Hamilton, but there are differences. The hands for one are khaki-ish, but less refined. The seconds hand retains that distinctive red tip, but adds an open circle to the counterbalance. The chapter ring and the numbers would be very hard to tell apart from the original, but there are two fairly obvious differences left to spot. One is the lack of a border on the date wheel, which in my opinion is a better choice because it means that 15 isn't squished into the center of the dial. And to me, that's the first huge improvement over the hammy. Now the second obvious difference is less noticeable. Did you spot it? There are no record style grooves around the large hour markers, which is a bummer, but at this price, you kind of expect it. Other than these small changes and the Baltany branding, of course, you would be hard pressed to tell the two apart if you were running to catch a bus. I can't really compare the cases since my Hamilton Khaki Automatic is the 42 millimeter day date version, which may be slightly different than the standard and less expensive khaki, but they appear fairly similar to images online. And even the brushing isn't too far off the Hamilton, which is a shame because I really wanted to brag about how much better the case finishing is on the Hammy. It isn't. The Hamilton is a bit more refined, but again, if you were running to catch a plane, you wouldn't notice. But what you will notice is the second huge improvement Baltany has made over its inspiration, and that is the brushed bezel. Oh yes, I love my beautiful khaki, but I don't think I got it out of the box before I scratched that polished bezel. Yes, the polished bezel looks great. There's no denying it, but it won't stay that way for long. Baltany has opted to fix that huge flaw, and that for me is the second big reason why this watch is in some ways superior. Now the loom is fairly decent. It isn't Seiko level loom, but it's a far cry better than my khaki day date. And if it's anything like the Baltany chronograph that I reviewed about a year ago, it's going to glow all night, no doubt. The beating heart of this watch is a Seiko made NH35 automatic movement that has honestly never failed me, like not once, ever. The unsigned screw down crown is grippy and easy to operate as a result. The screw down case back is sterile, which, doesn't bother me. My wrist can't read anyway, and it serves its purpose, which is to keep water out up to 100 meters. It comes on a genuine leather strap, which seems nice enough, but if you're anything at all like me, you have a few dozen 20 millimeter NATOs, canvas, rubber, and leather straps laying around just begging to be tried on. This Baltany will wear them all 
with style. Now at the beginning I said that there are three very significant ways that this watch is far better than its Swiss inspiration. Number one, it's symmetrical date placement. Number two, the brushed bezel. And number three is the price. Even before discounts, you can pick this up for around 150 US dollars or just under $200 Canadian. That's a huge deal to many of us who don't always have the kind of disposable income to throw at a Swiss watch, even an entry-level Swiss watch. But there are some trade-offs to get down to that price. It isn't quite as well finished, the hands aren't quite as attractive, and of course, it's an homage to someone else's design. Every time you look at it, you may be reminded that nobody at Baltany spent any time whatsoever with a blank piece of paper and a pencil. But this watch has some tremendous upsides. And I think that if you have $150 and you want a great homage to a great everyday watch, this one just might be even better than the original. Am I crazy? Let me know down in the description. Once again, I'd like to thank Overby Watches for lending this one in. I have two more Baltonies to review in the coming weeks. Please check out the link in the description. And if you want to like, and if you want to subscribe, well, I'm not stopping you. If you enjoyed this and you want to check out more affordable watch content, why not click on one of these videos down below.